I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Hearthfire, I mean Skyrim. So hopefully you will forgive that I am probably going to be really interested in, uh, in my house for a while. Oh, interesting. And I have not been looking into uh, how to do this um, uh, outside the game, because I think it's probably more interesting to uh, to play this on a first-time basis, although there is a chance maybe after this uh, walkthrough that... Oh, so I asked that guy to take a break, and apparently he... So he did take one for a little bit, but uh, apparently he's not willing to take a longer break. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to get some more light in here and maybe get a bed in here. Uh, I wonder what's, what the cellar is like. haven't been down here yet. Okay, it's looking like a pretty normal cellar. Shelves, or those beds? I guess it's shelves. And more shelves. Cool. So there is a good amount of room to put stuff. But can I get more light in here? Okay. <clears throat> Safes would be useful. Um, I am a vampire, so I might actually want to have to put a coffin in here. Mannequins are kind of fun. Shelves will definitely be useful. I don't actually need one of these inside because I could do all that stuff outside. But, um, whew. Actually, I have one vampire dust, and this takes a vampire dust. Might as well do this now. But yeah, I, I would like to get a popper bed so that I could... Um, wow. <laughs> it's kind of ornate. I imagine I won't invite visitors to the cellar unless they already know that I'm a vampire, because that is pretty, uh, pretty blatant. And this is an old Skyrim's staunch protectors. Okay. Can I put uh age of aggression is just about done? I guess the place will slowly look more um Yeah, but again I I don't need crafting stuff like that yet. And this Okay, this, I'm definitely going to want this, but I need to get some glass and some moonstone first. Um, arrows. Well, that's nice. Well, let's do this. I think I, I will want that. Um... So, I face a little... Oh, yeah, fireplace will light up the place. That... Yeah, that's looking nice. And finally, we have a light source. And we can do cooking if we want. And we have a place to eat. Apple dumpling. Haven't seen one of those before. Sweet. Um, so, the place is starting to look uh, like a home. And I can start putting... Yeah, I can start throwing stuff in here now if I want to. And for here... This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to... Um, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, those songs really are pretty uh, hilarious. So I need to pick up some glass somewhere, and I think I can pick it up at a nearby... Oh, wall shelves would be nice, as would a corner shelf. So I do want goat horns, because 
uh, I guess the wall sconces is uh, there what you need to um, to actually light up the place. Okay. Yeah, the place is slowly getting homey. Uh, what's over here? This. Hmm. I'm not sure which of these things are exclusive with. Oh, I do have a place for a bed now. Great. I think that's what I need uh, to adopt kids. Uh, the place needs to be moderately decorated, and uh, there need to be beds. Oh, chandeliers. Oh, I again need goat horns. Probably going to avoid the mounted animal heads since I think they're in kind of poor taste. But and let's see what's what's up here. I think I'm actually wearing one of these. Well, it's hard to tell the difference between a goat... I'm, I'm sorry, between a dragon scale and a dragon plate helmet. They look kind of similar. But they do look very cool. And kind of aerodynamic. Though I guess that's not super important for uh, the world of Skyrim. Since generally, if you're moving fast enough to really care about aerodynamicism, uh, then you are probably about to die because you're falling uh, off a cliff or something like that. Well, this is a perfect time to eat a snack. Well, oh. Hmm. Cool. So, I can hop up on the roof. Uh, hopefully I can drop down safely. Yeah, so let's build more house. Oh, and, uh, what's this? Oh, Anmund is mining for me. Well, he's probably just mining. Where do you want to go? Sweet. So I don't recognize old uh, Roldan, but but yeah, this is kind of cool. I have a horse, and I have a cow and chickens. Oh, I love chickens. They're amazingly awesome. Yeah, I wonder. If there's something I should ask uh, Amund about, I never would have suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. Tolfdir is right, isn't he? Magic, of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Um. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Okay, so I'm not sure what exactly that does, but I just asked him to furnish uh, some stuff. So we we have built. Uh, the West Wing, which is the Enchanting Tower, and we have the main entrance, and we have the main hall. I don't think I've chosen to do anything with either an East Tower, and I do have a fenced-off uh, place for the North uh, Tower. So let's see what I can do with that. What area is active? Well, actually, I think I have to look at the table here. And for here, okay, three iron fittings, two more locks, and five hinges. Two locks. Should be enough to make me a door to an alchemy, alchemy laboratory. Uh, I need some more quarried stone. Now where was that? That was here. I, th I think that this was reasonably heavy. Okay, so that should do. Fortunately, that's 
an area where you can mine uh, without ever running out. Okay, and I need a little bit more uh, quarried stone. But before we put walls up, I'd kind of like to see uh, see this uh, place as it's, as it's being constructed. So, so now we have a floor. And let's let's see how this place is coming along. I wonder, do I keep on getting more bees? There were five bees and one honeycomb in here before. No. Uh, I don't think bees work this way. Well, I'll see if this refills itself. I'm kind of curious now. Okay, so this is what the alchemy lab looks like um, without walls. So let's head back and put some walls in. Oh, and I need some more uh, quarried stone for a roof. So because I can get more of this whenever I want, I'm not going to try and keep a big stock of it on hand at any moment, but it would be nice not to need to uh, head there uh, repeatedly. Okay, so I think this is our north uh, north tower complete, and yeah, it's integrated smoothly into the rest of the building, and it looks like it has a nice area on top. And now we want to do, I think, our uh, our east uh, tower. So I could do an armory, a kitchen, or a library. Um, so this is actually a bit, bit of a dilemma. Do I go for functionality, or do I go for, um, or do I go for making it a better home? I'm already skimping a little bit by not having a devoted bedroom area. And so I'm tempted to go with a kitchen or a library, because I'm not going to be crafting a lot of stuff. But at the same time, it, it, this does look like it provides for some nice side entrances to the home with, the, uh, with the, uh, those ladders. And I do have a little bit of a cooking area already. And a library would be kind of cool, although I don't really need another tower. So let's narrow it down to either an armory or uh, a kitchen. Hmm, do I want to easily be able to smith stuff? Or do I want to it to be more uh, home-like? Uh, that's a tough one. Because if I do uh, if I don't do an armory, then I'm going to need to go somewhere else to smith gear, but I'm not going to be doing a lot of smithing of gear to begin with. Whereas a kitchen would make it a lot more livable. Let's go with the kitchen. Okay, so we have sketched out room for our kitchen. It's this fence. Let's get started on actually... Oh. Uh... Well, did I do this wrong? No, uh, that should be right. Um, okay, doors. So I need two locks and two iron fittings. I think this provides a door to the kitchen, although there isn't a kitchen there yet. I need some fitted stone. And I think that the door... Yeah, the door already exists here. So 
So obviously the, the game is skipping over the details of uh, of actually building all this stuff. If it were more realistic, you would end up um, you would end up seeing uh, seeing a lot more time difference between when you start and finish one of these actions, like at least several days, I suspect. But we can lay it foundation. Let's see what the foundation looks like without anything more. Okay, so this is kind of neat, although there are bushes still visible, and they are swaying freely through the foundation, which I'm just going to call it a glitch and be done with it. Let's put in a floor and wall supports and a roof framing. I guess we're done. Okay, so I believe that that is a complete house. Um, yeah, well at least it's the complete exterior of a house. I have a, a, the wings and now I'm going to head in and decorate it a little bit more. And yes, apologies to people who find this intensely boring. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so I have an entryway. I have my bird. Um, I have... Okay, so this is what my empty kitchen looks like. Um, Actually, we're going to ask the bard to take a, a little bit of a break or to actually uh, sing something. Of course, anything you like. Only true imperials request that one. Well, I am a true imperial. Oh, it looks like we're already getting a little bit of decoration. And... Wow, this is really kind of small here. Um... I don't quite remember what this, what extension this is. Oh, a chest would be nice. And I definitely, yeah, I'm gonna need to get some, uh, some goat horns somewhere. Because, yeah, my house really is pretty dark. Okay. So barrels might be nice. Uh the wash basin because right now we don't have a good way to sit down. Is there a difference between these? No, they look pretty much the same. And the round table would be kind of nice. Looks like I might need to make more uh, nails soon. Okay, put, put a fireplace in here too and an oven. Nice. And some storage. Yeah, I'm out of nails now. Well, almost out of nails. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, the room is looking a lot more hospitable now. And I am going to have a lot of fireplaces. Oh, do the fireplaces... Okay, they, they do have appropriate... Okay, that's good. What can I put in here? Yeah, so my lack of nails is definitely limiting uh, me here, but I can go out and take care of that to a certain extent. Yeah, this is slowly turning into a house. Well, into a home, rather. Okay, so right now for the home, uh, I have the steward, and I have a bard, and I have somebody outside who's willing to give me a ride to places. Um, I don't have a house, a house carl yet, and I think that would be kind of cool to have.
and maybe my character should um, should actually adopt some kids and possibly get married. Oh, so always can I? I th looks like I'm gonna be near wildlife. But you're not. Oh well, I guess you can eat that stuff. Oh, that's my horse. Cool. make a good number of nails because I'm tired of running out of nails make a few locks some iron fittings maybe a few hinges and uh, I guess I, I could at some point put some of my extra stuff in the chest yeah so I would like to check out the upper floors too, since I think I haven't, um, I've not yet seen the upper floors of the house yet. I never would have suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. Tolfdir is right, isn't he? Magic really can overwhelm you. Man, he's making me uh, feel a little bit guilty for taking him away from the life of the college. Okay, let's see what's up here. Uh, I guess that's another trapdoor to the ceiling, or uh, to the roof. And maybe the extension up here doesn't have an upper floor, which is fine. So... Oh wait, beds. I'd like to have beds, but I need straw and leather strips. Okay, so that's on my shopping list. Straw, leather strips, and maybe goat horns if I can find a place to buy them. It's a little bit weird that the people uh, there are willing to hang out in a, ta uh, in a house that's so clearly um, underfurnished. I, can, uh, I mean, obviously... Uh, or at least presumably I'm paying them, but where do they sleep? Anyhow. So I am going to fast travel down to, I think, Falkreath. Somebody implied that there's a general store somewhere here that I can buy some house supplies from. Yep, Argonians look a lot like uh, iguanas. Well, not, I guess if you're familiar with other types of herbs, then they're uh, they're not that iguana-y, but their ears are kind of iguanish. But uh, iguanas have more of a dewlap, and they have spikes going uh, starting not too uh, long after the back of their head there, so. What is this? Grey Pine Goods. This might be the store where I can buy uh, housing materials. Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Well, thank you. Oh, it's 10 p.m., so I'm probably here after they're closed. 
So if you start to wait in a, ha uh, in a house uh, after you're no longer allowed there, then you won't be allowed to do this type of long waiting, but if you start um, when you are allowed there... Oh, I'm still not, su You're not supposed to be in here. Okay. Well, demonstration. Apparently they're not even open at 10 a.m. So, I will step outside. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Weird dude. I can't believe it's doing some building, eh? We can I'll have them hauled over right away. Okay, well that's nice. Let's wait an hour and see if I'm allowed in now. Yeah, the door's unlocked. Hopefully that means I can go in Take a good look around. and buy stuff. Sure you'll find where you're well met. I'm a excellent. I think you'll be glad that thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. His name's Bolt. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of compers. I was once, but not a now maybe I don't we don't need no help from the M. Okay, so what do you got? Or what have you got? You have some glass. I'll buy ten glass. Oh, some goat horns. I definitely need some of that. Um, I think I need some straw for, uh, for beds and stuff. Um... Is there anything else I need? Apparently not. Okay, so... I can sell the crossbow because I never use those. And there will probably be an endless stream of Dawnguard people uh, trying to kill me. don't really need this Torven shield either. Is there anything else that I can tell to you that you would like? No, apparently not. Maybe... Maybe this statue. Okay. Looking good. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Oh, come on, dude. I would not have just invested with you if I were uh, keen to steal from you. Okay, so let's head back to uh, head back to our house. Wow. So I don't know if there ever were mammoths that had um, four horns. Seems kind of cumbersome. Maybe even uh, Cthuloid, in a sense. The crazy yellow eyes of madness, combined with those four horns reaching forward like tentacles. There was a proboscis shooting out. Is that the right word? Shooting out forward. Might be proboscis, maybe not. But the eyes do look kind of crazy. Okay, so it's raining, but I'm glad that there's an indoors and that my animals are getting along with the local animals. So yeah, is there more that I have to do out here? No, I'm only getting the option to remove workbenches. So I am probably Probably done with the outdoors for now. So let's see what we can do about getting this place a little bit more civilized and uh, brighter. Well, and definitely we want some beds. Okay. So. 
Oh man, I need leather strips. I have the straw hat that I need. Um, I can put in display shelves, which is pretty nice. And wall shelves. Yeah, let's put in a chandelier. That'll help, I think. But where'd it go? Uh, did that actually go in somewhere? Well, things do look brighter, but no, maybe not. Oh, the chandelier went in over here. It's not actually that bright. Well, pooey. Anyhow, leather strips. That's what I want. 458 of 550. Do I have any storage here that I can drop off all the rest of my... Um, it would be nice. I definitely want some more storage. So, containers. Yeah, I think I'm going to want one of these. And with that, I can put in... Did it go over here? Yeah, one over here. Do I have any weapons that I don't need? No, not really. And normally I prefer to use these for... Well, I guess just for now, because I'd like to go and grab like a full load of... Uh, from my uh, old home, full load of stuff. I'll just put all my uh, all my stuff in here, or at least all my crafting supplies. Kind of amusing having both a lock and a lock pick in my inventory. But when I come back, I will be able to put some, uh, put in some beds, which will be nice. Okay, so let's head up and check out this tower. And on our way. We will swing back by um, Riften and grab some leather and see if Balamint actually, if the uh, if bringing him back to life actually uh, took, or if we're going to have to do a little bit of game surgery again. So this is, well, that's kind of neat. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. Nice. So it's smoke, presumably, from the fireplaces coming on up. Yeah. So we will head east. Back to, to our home in Riften. Yeah, I, it's kind of tempting to look into adoption now, but I'd like to get at least a house caramel there. Because being uh, raised by a kind of goofy wizard uh, and a bard, that's probably not a good way to be raised. Well, at least it's insufficient. So, come on, game. Oh, 
come on. Okay, so is Balaman still around? Well, it's not really the right time of day to. Uh, Okay, good. Balamond is, good and he, his sale options are still up. That's great. Let's pick up some leather and leather strips, and I probably should keep on picking up iron because it's very useful for this kind of thing. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. And um, I'm going to. Keep moving stuff from Honeyside to my home, well, my new home. I do feel kind of bad for my existing house Carl here. I wonder if I can just ask her to head to my new home. Honor to you, my thing. No, apparently not. Okay. So what else is there in here that need to, needs to be moved? Okay, so uh, that put me just barely within my weight allowance. Yes. Let's see how much of this stuff. All the things you, just can't be bothered with. you guessed it. Hmm. Apparently she has a pretty healthy uh, weight allowance. Well, reasonably healthy. So yeah, we've emptied out our construction bit. Can I still carry? No, this put me over. So let's see how far. Oh, I'm pretty far over. So. Yeah, the kind of joke alchemy ingredients that... Oh goodness, let's see. I just want to drop enough stuff that... I, that I can carry the rest of my uh, rest of the stuff over and not too many more trips. 559, So yeah, in just a few trips, I should be able to get everything, uh, everything over there. It does seem excessive, though, to to have the, this many nice homes. Well, actually, in this game, I think. Honeyside and this new house that I built are the only homes that I have. Because I've played a few games where I actually end up buying basically uh, every house that I can in the game, which is one house in most cities. And that just gets kind of ridiculous, although I never put anything in most of those homes. Okay, so... Let's head back to Lakeview Manor. I wonder
wonder if that gap between the uh, the axe head and the blade really makes sense because it seems like it might make the axe more fragile and that's a weird handle for an axe it's bent not really in the way that I I would expect uh, a handle to be bent if it has to bend it's definitely ornate I'm just not sure if it's useful like if you're gonna swing that at a tree for example you would have to worry about it rotating as you uh, make the swing unless I guess you held it all the way at the end and you know, even if you swing it uh, no there would be a way I think to hold that so that it would anyhow it doesn't really matter Let's head in and see what we can manage. Yeah, we, we should have what we need to make uh, beds now. Oh, uh, how about... What can I do for you? Certainly. I am trained in the... Th sit back and enjoy some classical drumming. Works for me. Okay, and this will overburden us, but let's uh, take all this stuff. Oh, don't. Do I really have cracks in the floor already? I guess the floor really isn't that solid to begin with. Huh. Well, I guess that's what happens when you build your own house. Sweet. And, uh, okay, that should, nice, nice. Okay, so I have a coffin in the basement, I have two beds here. I have a display case here. And does this have... Yeah, it has an end table on it. Okay. I'm going to, for now, put all my alchemy ingredients in here. Yeah, I can't have a pain in the butt. At some, at some point I need to figure out what, I, uh, what needs to be done to uh, make an alchemy table. Yeah, managing this kind of stuff is not the most fun thing. Burdened. Cool. So yeah, I have a wardrobe. Yeah, some more. But I thought, oh yeah, this is the double bed. So this is presumably my bed. Uh, these are beds for kids if I want them. I guess for now. Um, I wonder where the bard sleeps. Well, tables are always useful. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Uh, reasonably. Oh, alchemy lab. Definitely want one of those. We can put in another chandelier. Sweet. Ah, uh, there's my alchemy lab. And uh, I don't know where the chandelier went. Nice, things are looking good. 
get more chests and and a cooking area and uh, what can I do with an oven? Oh, nice. Some of these ingredients I don't recognize, but maybe they were added by this extension and I might be able to buy them somewhere, I would guess. Uh, okay, well, I'm vegetarian and I'm a little bit grossed out by some of that, but I suppose the game is... It probably makes the fair assumption that most people who play it are not vegetarian. Shelves. Yeah, chests are nice. Uh, I already have an alchemy lab. What else can I put in? Another chandelier would be nice. And look, it is it has already brightened up the room. Looking good. Did that where did that chest go? Maybe the chest went upstairs? Uh let's see. Suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. Tolfdir is right, isn't he? Magic really can. Well, it's a good thing that you've retired from magic and that you're now keeping my home. Although I suppose this is a good example of why I really believe that um, that women's rights—they're not. It's not just an issue of trying to be fair. It's about the wasting the potential of uh, roughly half of our uh, of our society with uh, menial tasks. I mean, I guess keeping the home isn't necessarily utterly menial, but we don't want to push uh, push half of our population into uh, into a life where where their highest ambition is just to keep a home for another. That's a pretty sucky uh, use of human uh, human potential. Oh yeah, yeah, looking a little bit crowded here, but yeah, cool. Let's keep wandering around and so actually, at this point, I think I'm going to finish uh, furnishing the house off camera. Uh, I am having a, a ball with this, but I'm realizing that probably most of you didn't decide to watch a Let's Play so that you could um, watch someone decorate a, uh, a pretend house. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to feel free to zip around between the cities that are selling components of this, and I'll get it all nice and up. And I might show it to you in a later episode, but I'm going to try to keep a lot of the rest of, um, of what I do focused around uh, actual uh, adventuring. Well, this is looking nice. Ode to the Tundra Striders. I haven't heard of that book before. Really not thrilled about the floor not being perfect. But yeah, um, I'll see you in the next play, and I will probably have a much nicer house by the time, uh, uh, by the time you get to see it.